Hey guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Um, we're going to continue on. Continuing on. <laughs> Something like that. Um, let's see. Do I have to do... Oh, yes, I do. We have to fix our tractors. Okay. All right. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. Come on, brain, work today. I haven't had my coffee yet today. That's the problem. That is the entire problem. Okay, and then, okay. Fuel. All right. So let's pick some jobs here. Thankfully... I don't have any jobs that require me to do striping. So 1095 that one. Do I want to do the orchard again? No. Ooh! Oh gosh, sorry about that. I just kind of had a hiccup there. Um, I'm going to do this garden. I'm going to do it with the big mower. We're gonna do all these little cheapy jobs. How's that? I've heard do it with that. Yep, and let's go. Let's do it. Ah, coffee. Okay. So again, oh, this is the one where you have to do the front yard. Do we do this one yet? I don't know. I'm also going to kind of look around for valuable items that may or may... Oh! The spatula. Alright, so we have to pick up like dog turds and stuff now, which is, you know, really what we were meant to do in this game. <laughs> Picking up the dog turds, smelling them so fresh. Wait, no, that's not what we do. Picking up the dog turds. All right. Let's see if this big mower was the right choice. It's the right choice. If I can remember how to drive it. Um, so 5.5 centimeters. Okay, 5.7 is going to have to do it. Um, so somebody asked the other day, can you do like a top-down view? And yes, you kind of can. Um, you just have to work with the external view. And yes, you can do it. Like I'm doing now. Can I do the curve at top speed? Oh, it's not so easy. Somebody commented the other day about my comments about, um, you know, trying to control speed. And I don't think the comment was understood properly. Um, I was commenting on how important it is to control your speed. Um, you don't, not necessarily a fixed speed, <clears throat> but trying to maximize your speed so that you know you can get the jobs done more quickly and efficiently but how difficult it can be to to regulate the speed 
um, with an Xbox controller. You know, if I was using like a foot pedal or something, it would probably be a little bit different. But yeah, using a, a controller for for the you know for controlling speed here, it's not so easy. Especially like faster speeds where my controller, like where the trigger pull is kind of like in the center, like in the middle. And it seems like, at least on my controller, if I, if I pull up much harder, then the speed kind of just rockets off to full speed. It's really kind of bizarre, but... I can't really see here. I think we may have done this one before. I remember doing this. I know that I've done this job. Uh-oh. I just don't remember if I've done it, if we've done it in the series. I think we have, though. No, oh, see right there. It's it's either something weird with my controller, or actually I'm gonna go straight up here. Yeah, it's either something with my controller or. I just suck at the game, that's, which is prob that's that's probably equally as likely. So I'm just, I'm just going to want to go down the yard here. This is just a standard lawn job, nothing fancy. Let's go straight across here. And then we'll go and finish the trim here. Watch out, flowers, I'm coming for you. Not intentionally. <laughs> So now we can kind of go down this way. Yeah, I swear we've done this this job. I swear we've done this job.
gosh. And we're just gonna kinda go back and forth here until the lawn is completed. We'll be able to move on to the next job. I should be able to do another job. Let's see here. I mean, this one's not taking too long. We're already at eight minutes and 51 seconds. <clears throat> so um, chances are we're gonna be able to squeeze another one in here. The only thing that I kind of don't like about these zero turns, and maybe it's my technique, But it's how it seems to leave like a little tuft of grass every time I turn around. And again, <clears throat> it's probably my, my technique. Oh my gosh. I've actually never used a zero turn. I think I've said that before uh, in the series. But yeah, I've never used a zero turn mower. So yeah, I'm not really familiar with how they work or cut. And that's even assuming that these cut exactly the way they do in real life, which they probably don't, because computer game, hello. And for as much fun as this game is, it's not a precise analog for, <clears throat> you know, actually putting your butt on a lawnmower and cutting a lawn. It's just not. <laughs> but by golly, it's the best lawn mowing game out there. All right, so we're finished here. So we got some nice stripes there. More like tire stripes. Okay. Looking good. And a little bit of a penalty there for Gitchen uh, catching those flowers. HQ upgrade complete. All right. Wait, can I finally get... Can I finally hire someone? Oh. All right, so we got 13, 980, so, ooh, 1700. Oh, cool. We actually have a new job. Okay. So we're going to put Ellie, you're going to do that one with this guy. Olivia, you are going to kind of get the shaft here. And then I am going to do the hilltop house. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do it. Or requires mulcher or collector. Okay. I would love... Absolutely love to live in a house like this. <laughs> this is exactly like my my design. 
All right, so we've got six objects we need to find. So let's go and find them. The only thing that I find weird is like the garage is up here. So how do you get down to the lower level? Okay, so there's a door here. I'm assuming that there's got to be... See, I can't jump here, so I can't really see. Oh, something's there. Was something back here? No, I guess not. I'm like both looking around. Yeah, so it's like there's probably a walkway that comes down here. And yet there's no door there. There's a door there. It's like a little reading room. Kitchen is here. Um, your living room, but what's... I don't see any doors going back into this area here. Which just seems to be like a big open area. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, there's like nothing in there. Okay, that's kind of weird. So it's kind of like some of the design choices um, that the uh, the devs have chosen for this house are a little bit on the weird side, I'll admit. Wait, I saw something. Oh, there it is. Okay, we need two more objects. One more object. There it is. Boom! Finished. But still a pretty cool house. Oh! <gasps> I totally forgot to repair it at night. Whoops. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's go. Five point five centimeters. We gotta lower the head to five point seven because that's as low as we can go without uh oh without cutting too short. <clears throat> so now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna do the trim around the house. Hard to do, I know. Let's go to this view. Ah. Ah, what is going on here? Come on, Tratter. It's like it's teeter-tottering on something. What, I don't know. There we go. Turn. It's like I'm okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. And I'm just trying to keep it off the side of the that um, 
I don't know, whatever that thing's supposed to be. Okay, let's go across here. see <laughs> that's just the way it goes all right Get up here I almost think the black knight would work would work well here. Slow down again. All right. Oh, we're going so fast. gonna go across this gravel here I kind of feel like I need to go about two turn or you know two circles around the yard here. kind of don't like the position of where my trailer is also. Okay, we'll just go around the tree here. Somebody yelled at me at the in the comments that I was going around trees too quickly. I mean, maybe if I go too quickly and really screw them up, but I don't think that I was. Now, I should have another crew member working over there, though I don't see them. It would be really cool if you did. But I'm probably expecting way too much for that. Alright. Oh gosh, yeah, because you can, um, oh, I never really, I never knew there was a yard over there. Kind of look around here. Oh wait, is that the big manor down there? Is that the manor house? Hmm. 
But um, anyway, if we circle back around, you can see that there's the um, the garden gnome garden, and then the big at asterisk thing over there, or not asterisk, um, like pound sign. So, um, so this is kind of part of a big modern estate. And actually the driveway cuts through, there's a garage door right here to my left. And that would be pretty cool to just have that pass through right there. So now we'll just kind of go as slow as we can. And I'm, I mean, I am literally like, my fart air is barely blowing on the, the trigger. <laughs> and it's like taking off. See, that's how, that's why I, I say, you know, they, they might need to uh, make a sensitivity adjustment because it's just way too sensitive. Okay. And then going downhill like this. I mean, it's just like I'm putting the very smallest amount pressure there. All right, so here I'm just going to go, well, you'll see what I'm going to do. You'll see. Just a couple blades there. have a little strip there yep that's okay I wanted to uh, wanted to make sure we got a nice straight line across the rest of the ba uh, backyard Do our circle. Like so. And then we'll have to do another circle. Okay, let's go around the tree here. I'm gonna go whoop, just 
just like this. Guys and gals, if you are watching, if you're just relaxing with me, watching some grass mowing, do not forget to hit that like button. It's really helping me out. Um, the, the lawn mowing sim videos have been really super popular, so I appreciate everybody who uh, hits that like button and uh, helps the uh, videos grow, helps more people see them. And that in turn helps me. So you help me and I help you by making more videos. <laughs> How does that sound? All right, so we're gonna finish up. We're 40% complete. Now, I think the job is gonna go a little bit more quickly because we don't have as many trees to deal with. can just about go full speed here because this lawn isn't really super thick grass thankfully not going quite top speed but we're Definitely up there. Yeah, if I go top speed, it definitely, we get into the red zone. So right around, you know, six and a half, seven miles per hour seems to be a good speed here. Missed a few spots there. That's surprising. I mean, it's me, so I guess it's not that surprising, but. All right. Oh, we got a couple trees over here. I forgot about those. I got to take a sip of coffee here. I think what I'm probably going to do here is go straight across here, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know if this is the the right way to do it. I'm just going to give me a little cut there. It's going to be just enough to turn around. And we're just going to 
go back and forth here. And we're gonna do it till we're done. Go around our tree here. That's all there is to that. Um, let's go up. We go up the hill here. Now we can finish the rest of the yard. Oh. I, I just, I totally had my finger off the trigger coming down that hill. I didn't, I didn't hit the brakes though. I didn't hit my left trigger, just my, just took my finger off the right one. And we were still chucking down the hill. Yeah, see, like, there we go. Look, if I apply just the mo most minute amount of pressure, we go up to like five miles an hour going down the hill. But then going up the hill, I'm full on the trigger and we're at 7.8 miles per hour. Yeah, it's just weird. It's really weird. Let's see something. Okay. Okay, let's do a... Let's do an opposite cut there. Counterclockwise, or no, clockwise, I guess. We're gonna have to do another counterclockwise cut here. Just not a big deal.
Now I am using my striper, striping wheel or whatever it's called. So if you're wondering why I'm getting stripes now, that's why. I just thought, might as well give it a try with this tracker. Though it's not required. Uh-oh. We got a little... Little bog down there. Not, <clears throat> not too big of a deal. Almost done, yay! Boom, all right. So I think somewhere over here, yeah, like right up here, I think I saw. I missed a little, little bit there. All right, so there is the uh, lawn. We are all finished. Let's take this guy up here, pop him on the trailer, and I'm just going to enjoy the view here for a moment and sip some coffee. <sighs> that is such a cool house. Like I, This is where I want to live. If there's a house like this, let me know. I'll buy it. <laughs> Doubt I could afford it. Okay, but if I could, so 1,444, uh, we got $10 fees and collisions, or 10 pounds, sorry, incorrect cut height penalty, that's fi literally 15 cents by going like half a centimeter too low, $1,880, You know, it looks like, see, like, why are we seeing the same penalties on our other drivers? Does it just like, okay, if you make mistakes, your other driver, or, you know, your other employees make mistakes too? I don't, I don't get it. Olivia's probably really mad at me. Uh, weekly report. So we've got a weekly profit, actually, of 5185 which is pretty darn good. Unlock professional challenge. Trust rank three. Can we yet hire an employee? Oh, man. That's really frustrating. Um, all right, let's go to our garage. Let's go ahead and maintain everything. This tractor should be, yeah, it's pristine. Now, <clears throat> what could we upgrade this to? We could go up to a Toro. I haven't purchased a Toro yet, and I would like to. Um, so this is 20, 122 centimeters. That one's 132. Hmm. And we're just off from being able to afford the Turf Tiger. This is probably going to be the next one I buy. Though this Stiga would actually probably be pretty good on 
on that house that we just did. And I kind of, I both do and don't want to try this, tr this thing. I just, I would think it would be too weird to control, but someday, maybe when we're constantly making big bucks in this game, I will give it a try. So we've got, we've got this job to do again. Got this, the paddock A to do again. We've got the garden. So, hmm. So we'll come back. Maybe we'll do the hilltop house again. I don't know. Um, or maybe I'll do paddock A again. I just don't know yet. You know, I don't know. I don't know, you know. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> What if I were to upgrade this one to this? That's going to give leave me 3,000 255 pound. And then if I upgrade one of the no no. And then if I upgrade one of those To this guy, no, it's going to be 4,000. So we're going to have to do at least one job to upgrade those mowers. So um, I don't think I've got anything else outstanding right now. Um, our hotel is, or hotel, our HQ, man, I'm getting old. Our HQ is fully upgraded. <gasps> Ooh, we can buy this one though. Oh, man. I just want to get up to the next rank where I can hire a fourth employee. So maybe maybe that'll happen in the next episode. I don't know, but thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Lawn Mowing Simulator. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button for this and many more videos. This has been Lawn Mowing Simulator. I am Bradham73, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now, guys.